Okay, so I have already dampened it. Obviously, that's what you're supposed to do. I've read online, a couple of people didn't realise you were actually supposed to wet it, but you are. I have the little pamphlet thing here that came with it. It doesn't say anything about running it under um, the tap, but you are supposed to do that because it's supposed to double in size. So there we go. Don't use cold water though, like I just did. Use warm water because otherwise it just sits there and won't do anything. And then what you're supposed to do is just wring it out. So it's not really wet, it's just a little bit damp. The only thing I have done so far is put on the MK Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer. I just applied it with my fingers, I didn't bother to apply that with the Beauty Blender. Didn't really see the point. So the foundation I am going to be using this with, as I said, I have not used this before. So it's beautiful and clean. I don't really want to because it's so pretty, but I have to in the name of research. The foundation I would have used is the 17 Stay Time Up to 25 Hour Wear. Um, I just recently featured in my um, budget foundation routine. This one is in Fair. So I'm going to pump. I'm just going to do one pump to begin with. Uh, don't want to use too much. So there we go. What you're supposed to do with this is you put it into the foundation, like that, and then kind of bounce it on. So let's see how this goes. It's weird actually using it damp. I mean, that's the whole idea because it kind of gives it a more flawless finish, but it is a strange kind of sensation. Um, I've never really been into using sponges for my makeup, so this should be interesting. Although to call this a sponge is a bit, a bit like blasphemy, I and mean, it's not, not just any old sponge, is it? But I know a lot of people probably think this is just like a cosmetic sponge, just an expensive one, but um, it is something a little bit different than that. So that's kind of nice actually. That's very nice. Take a little bit more on the other side. You're kind of supposed to bounce it. I'm kind of bouncing it in like a twisty motion. It sounds really difficult when I first read it. I was, it's one of those stupid things. I thought I don't understand what they're talking about, but you just have to put it into practice. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is, strangely enough. Uh, so that is actually quite nice. The whole point of the Beauty Blender is so that it gives a flawless finish. You don't have to use brushes and all that stuff. And I know a lot of people have problems with like streaks when they use brushes for their fingers. So this should eliminate that. It's actually very nice. It says when you get to the edges of your face, you're just supposed to roll it out. So don't take up any more product. Just kind of roll it out into the hairline, which does work. It certainly seems to. I was reading some other reviews and some people said that it's not necessarily their favourite method to apply foundation because it does absorb a lot. Now the thing I think about that is that they're using, they're wetting it too much, they're using too much water to begin with. Um, so it's kind of shearing out their foundation. That's not really the point. Uh, the point is, I guess, with the water, it expands to double its size. Okay, so that is just one pump of the uh, 17 stay time, I forgot what it was called there. So actually, that's 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 good enough for me. I usually, as I said, use a little bit more than that, but apparently I don't need to with the Beauty Blender, so that's actually very nice. Okay, so now the thing I was really excited to use it for is concealer, because that's the reason it has the pointed tip on it. It has a little egg shape, so that it can actually get into all the little crevices on the uh, face. So I'm gonna use, uh, once again, my stay time 18 hour wear concealer. And I'm going to use that under my eyes, and I'm also going to use it on some blemishes. I don't think I've used this one under my eyes before. And I'm just going to use the tip, and let's see what this is like. So you kind of bounce that along as well. Lots of bouncing motions. But um, it definitely seems to work. So, let's see. It's a lot easier, I have to say, than... Um, I don't tend to use my fingers to put my under eye concealer on because um, my nails are quite long, so it's just it's just a hassle really for me. But this is actually quite easy. And brushes, I mean, they don't really fit into this area, so. And the smaller the brush, I think, uh, the less coverage you're really going to get, especially on the under, the under the eye area, because it's kind of when it's putting it on, it's sweeping it away. So that's using that end for concealer. So that's that eye. Let's do the other one. I'm just going to take a little bit of the same concealer and dab it on certain areas. Yeah, I mean, you know, 
in the morning, I don't think it would be something I would reach for. Not because of uh, um, the way I apply to makeup, but because, you know, if you didn't wash it the night before, which I know you probably should, but we can't always, can't always do stuff like that. Uh, to kind of faff about in the morning washing it. I don't know about that. So, let's see. I'm just going to use the fat end and kind of dab my concealer in around the rest of my face. Yeah, so I don't know whether that would be something I would do uh, with it all the time, but it certainly gives a very nice, very nice look to the rest of the face. Um, yeah. um, for blemishes, I don't think it's kind of for on spot concealing because it's too big for that. However, for basic foundation application, um, it seems very nice, very, very nice. I really like that. So, that's that really. So that's it. So that's kind of my demo. I hope that was helpful. It seems a bit silly, doesn't it, really, sitting here talking about a makeup sponge, but I know um, that it kind of sounds a little bit more complicated than it is, but as you can see, I will bronze up my neck. But as you can see, I mean, it went on really easily. I didn't, as I said to you, had to use as much foundation as I usually would have done because it doesn't get absorbed into the bristles of brushes. Um, so that's quite a nice, quite a nice touch. And using less product, I, I think, uh, even though I have read that some people have said it absorbs more, I really think it's just because they're using it way too wet. You don't need to use it that damp. I mean, this is really just, it's not really wet at all. Um, but yeah. I actually quite like that. I think that's. I think it's a nice. It's a nice little gadget. Um, definitely, if you have trouble with blending out foundation, um, then I would. I would suggest that. And if you're somebody that is diehard, uh, using your fingers to apply your foundation and your concealer, I think this is way better than doing that. I don't like to do that anyway, but I know a lot of people that do. So if you're one of those people, I think one of these would just be like a godsend because it's so much easier and it's less mess. So that's my little review and application demo application of the Beauty Blender. I think it's a very nice product. I believe it's about £16. Um, a little bit pricey, but you do get what you pay for. And as I said, there are lots of imitations. I know Cosmopolitan have come out with one. Um, I know Real Techniques, as I said, you know, in the States, they've got a couple of others that are, um, they don't look like this, obviously. But they are a similar kind of, dis or a similar kind of idea, let's say. I haven't tried those. This is the first kind of makeup sponge type thing, new generation makeup sponge that I've ever tried. And I actually really, really like it. So there we go. Big thumbs up for me. I am a convert to the Beauty Blender. I think it's very, very nice. So I will leave a um, list down below of where you can get it. You can get it on Beauty Bay. And I believe you can also buy it from um, beautyblender.co.uk and they offer free shipping all over the UK, so that's a good, that's a good deal. So yeah, oh also, it comes with, let me just see, uh, oh you can buy them in a kit, um, the blender cleanser, this one is just a little sample size, but apparently, this is, let's see, deionized water, vegetable based cleansing, sub, um, sudsing agents, mild surfacents, multipliers and fragrance, and um, as I said, it's just a little sample size, but you can get little, the bigger sizes where you can kind of put it on the top there of the cap. I don't quite know how that works, but it looks intriguing and it just cleans it. And you can also use this on your makeup brushes as well. So um, I will let you know how I get on with the cleanser, but I have heard good things about the cleanser. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. If you've got any questions about Beauty Blender, leave them down below and I'll try and answer them. And yes, I'm sure I will be using this in some more like foundation type tutorials very, very soon. So uh, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye everyone.